Hello everyone. Hello my lovely English community with this amazing video from WebLeo TV. I'm going to show you how to use this program called PhotoSynks that help us to send our files from our cell phones to your, our computer without using the USB cable. How can we start using this program? Well, the first step is going to, of course, Google or your homepage uh, searcher, favorite searcher from web, and you put photo things, and then you find the, the link I put in the square, right? And if this square appear here, you must go to accept all, right? Then you go to the download page, as I didn't show you and if you have Macintosh or Windows well I am going to use the example with Windows and Android Android phones right we go into the download button right to to, to download the, the last version of the program right and when you hit to the setup program it's called the, the installer language in this case I use Spanish of course but you can of course you can use English too another language we go to OK then the welcome wizard we click next anyone can use the computer next and we hit next we don't touch any of these small square squares sorry we hit next and then at the last install right uh, now it asks us to start for a thing, we go to finish and there's a small window showing us uh, some examples we are going to put uh, don't show anymore and at last you can see the program is now start on the right corner of our screen this is a small program and this is called photo sync well, now on our phone, we are going to download the PhotoSync transfer folder. In this case, I had it uh, download, so I'm going to open to open it. Oh, it's just to open and close, because the most important thing is to go to our gallery. In this case, I traveled to the past and <laughs> have some videos and pictures. So I'm going to select everything I want to send to my computer. And we are going to use, of course, at the top of the screen, uh, the share button, of course, uh, the, the classic share button there, as, as I am showing you, hit there with the arrow. And when you hit it, you will find the photo syncs shortcut. If not, go to the more options to find this icon, icon, icon right? And when you choose, uh, it's going to open the photo sync app and you will choose uh, computer in this case it is in Spanish but I'm going to say to you uh, computer and if you find this small error don't worry it could happen sometime but it's very good that it's appear here we are going to choose add device in manual form right or manually uh, to uh, rec that to photo sync recognize our computer right we hit there on our cell phone at a device and I will ask you a IP address and a port number where we can find that information well, it's very easy we're going to our PC we open photo things right click on the photo sync amp and find the option about two there in about two uh, you will find the, the option we need, the, the IP address, in this case, this long number, and the port number. We take a number, or we, we, we let it there in the computer, and we go to the cell phone, right? And now on our cell phone, we are going to write this number. Don't worry, because this is local IP, nothing going to hacker me, don't worry. So we put the IP address, address there, and the port, right? Uh, once it's uh, put there, as I show you here, we choose the done button and it will appear the computer, in this case my desktop. When I hit there, the click on desktop on our phone, it starts immediately uh, transfer all the pictures and files that I want on my computer. But uh, it's very fast. If your router is faster, it's going to download the the files faster and when I finish it's open 
uh, the, the folder it create automatically via uh, Photosync do that and it will show you all the pictures uh, that are uh, had been sent to your PC. The things I like the most about these photo things that for example in this case it create me a camera folder of my phone and it will create another folder for another device or if you send in there in the empty square maybe if you send a screenshot from your phone to the computer it will create a screenshot a folder that nothing is mixed and then later on you can arrange all your pictures that you have from different device maybe you have two free phones or a tablet or need to make a review of them well this is a very very practical example so maybe you are asking well Leo what is the difference to use the USB cable well the difference is that it's practically maybe you are taking picture with your phones or your tablet and you want everything on one computer so not you're going to use all the USB cable and not send it via Wi-Fi and it will be very very helpful for you so thank you very much for watching this small video I always try to make my videos in Spanish and for my lovely community in English and I hope you can subscribe to the channel to reach to the 10,000 before the end of the year. Have a nice day. Please, uh, if you want to help our channel, uh, there's in the box down below, there's information about it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.